Hey guys, what is going on everybody? It's me, Matt, here. And welcome to um, our next crossover video with LEGO Channel 62. Say hi, guys. Hey. So, we will, as, you may, as I just told you, we're going to be doing a crossover video. Yeah. And today, we're going to be doing... Uh, showing you guys some really cool mocks. Now, just to let you know, this is not a Lego mock marathon. It's just some cool mocks that we decided to create just for the video. Yeah. Right? And, and when um, we just started creating them, then I thought we could make a video showcasing them. So, yeah. we're, we're doing Our that. next Lego mock marathon is going to be coming on the, um... Probably early September. S September? Around, like, the release of Wave 9, like I mentioned. Seven, uh, maybe, so, maybe on, like, September 12th we're going to start it, start up the marathon? Yeah, so we'll see you around then. But until then, we've got these monsters for you guys. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. First up, we're going to do my creation. Now, my creation is sort of kind of like a little kind of, um, I don't know, like maybe a protection room with a helicopter thing at the top. I thought it'd be really cool to create that. And, um, yeah, I created it. I was starting to create this at the exact same time I created my Lego pickaxe, which, by the way, I made a video for, so you can check that out. I made it last night. But, um, yeah, so... The helicopter sort of thing here I made with lots of, lots of tiles to make it look kind of flat. And there are all sorts of colors like black, yellow, white, um, brown, orange, um, white as I mentioned before. And even a computer screen right there. This blue tile with what seems to be a couple a couple numbers on there. Sorry, let me just... A couple numbers on there. I think it's like 3301 or something like that. But... Here on one of the other tiles is like the front of a car, I think. Because here kind of like looks like the thing that you would open up. And here is kind of like a little symbol, gold. So that's pretty cool. And I attached a little... And um, Oh, by the way, in here I've got a yellow tile. And this, I, I attached this piece to one of those little hinge pieces right there. And I kind of folded it back. And um, I attached a little kind of propeller thing to one of those pieces that twists around. So that way... It'll have the ability to, like, twist around like that. Whoops. But, yeah, so I figured it'd be really cool and twists and twists like that. So it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, and right here at the roof, I added lots of tiles, like, over... Uh, here, let me just take that off. Um, over here, I've got one of the, one of these pieces from the, um... From the, um... Uh, what was it called? The uh, uh, the airport battle scene from the uh, um, Captain America Civil War. Here I've got a little computer screen. Another screen from the Back to the Future sets. Got lots of brown and gray and dark gray and white and black and everything right there. Just uh, yeah, and I've even got a blue right here, so it's pretty cool. This one right here is beige because um, yeah. Anyways, and down here is a little kind of room sort of thing. Now, it's not really much of a room, but here you can actually see the inside, which is like a little a poison ivy containment window that from what, like one of the older sets. Let me just clear it up. Yeah, so there it is. Here I've got another piece from the airport battle scene, which is that little thing attached to the building. This side has nothing to it. This side actually has lots of design to it. Here's a sword. Here's kind of like a little energy thing. Here's another kind of like a little light thing, and up here I've got some like uh, some transits and stuff like red, yellow, blue, silver, white, and then a little cylinder which is translucent green. Here I've got more studs. Two of these right here are flat. These are uh, are just uh, regular studs, so pretty cool. Like red, yellow, orange, and clear, so pretty cool. Here I've got a little window and two one by twos. Hmm, uh, um. And, oh, uh, whoops, one piece fell off. Accident. But it says piece, a little cylinder at the front, two of these little plates, and a stud right there, and it attaches to this piece with a with two tiles. This one's, this one's silver, that one's red. So, yeah, and, um, so, yeah, so that's basically it for my creation. And, uh, now let's move on. So here's my mock. My mock is kind of like a mix between old Lego and Dog movie stuff. Um, like all the Lego Dog movie vehicles. So, at the front here, it's kind of like resembling Cole's part with the cockpit. And same with the wheels and the arms, kind of representing Cole's. Um, for Nia's, I kind of made it like these legs represent uh, Nia's vehicle. Um, back part here represents Zane's vehicle. Uh, I was kind of making it so that um, this part 
<laughs> come down like that, just like in the um, actual one. And then uh, these parts are right here, and this part on top of the Zane's part for um, for Jay's vehicle. And then these part with the fire blasters were kind of um, uh, for Kai's vehicle. It has like the three parts that shoot fire, and then these are just like my own design to keep it all together. And now that I think about it, I should have made it part of Destiny's Bounty too, by adding some like sales or something. But and I think it's fine. So I guess I included a lot of detail in the back here with like all these grilled tiles, and um, this is part for Jay's thing, and it's part at the back. As I said before, I wanted to include stuff on the side, just like in Zane's vehicle. Um, the feet, right here, it's not how I wanted them to turn out, but I think, I think they're really good how they are. Maybe even better than how I wanted them to turn out. Actually, not better than how I wanted them to turn out, but still. Um, then there's some fire shooting out of these. Um, it's just one character in the cockpit. And if you want to take off the lid, the place character, and you can just do that. And, um, I'm just going to take Phantom Zone guy. And place him in the cockpit. And then you can close this up. And there. I okay. I also wanted to put some controls in here there. But I couldn't find any controls and then I forgot it. And yeah. But also it's not the colors I wanted it to be. I'll, like I'll just tell you right now, this is supposed to be more of Zane's colors on the back there. It's supposed to be like blue here, blue here, kinda of like the Jay's colors there, like around black around the cockpit, and some sort of like gray reddish around the arms, and more and more like uh, translucent blue or purple, and um, gray and black around the legs. So, uh, yeah, that's that's it for my mock. And now watch the next mock. Okay, um, kind of project thing. It's not our actual projects, but I've been working on this um, Kai's fire mech inspired build. And see, I have a character in the top there. Use this hero factory piece. I just take him out. And so the cockpit here you could move side to side. Uh, it could somewhat move up and down. Not really. Has kind of some ears on the top here. Uh, and then if you look down at the legs. So actually, I'll just take off the legs so that's easier. Um. So, I'm, I made the legs probably with the most designs. So, look at the foot here. It kind of looks like a, a mini spaceship kind of thing. I put these grilled plates on the side. This is slanted. That there. And then I put the jumper plate that I could attach to the bottom here of this leg. And then I made this part. I kind of make it kind of flat there. And it has some um, parts like that. I like this design I added. And like that, there, and just some grill part on a hinge here, so the leg could hinge forward and also hinge that way. And I did this on both legs, so similar there. And then the arms, I think I really like the arms too. So I did the arms, it was like kind of like this. Um, actually, I used this arm. So, this has kind of like blast at the front, that's kind of supposed to be um, spied off the fire at the front of it, and then has the blaster behind it, then there's this big rod connecting from here to there on the arm, kind of giving it its firepower, and then back part of the big rod right there to kind of make the arm, uh, I guess, a bit bulkier, and some designs on there, and then the body piece is like this. Oops. It was like that. Um, actually, the waist part also attaches to it too. So, the waist. Uh, so, from the front of it, I made this part at the front. It's kind of like the actual one. And then these on the side is this part. And I actually made this pretty detailed. You can see on the side there and then that part. Um, I like the front, and then the back is just like this, all studs and everything. This one wasn't supposed to be that detailed at the back, but 
Oh, I think I may have just forgot about the back. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I think this was a really cool one that I worked on. Um, it's going to assemble it back together to show you the whole thing. So, there's it without the arms. And then, I guess it's actually the arms as I'm talking. So, yeah, I think this turned out really good. Um, didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it. But, again, like, it's not really supposed to be the exact same as the fire mech. It's supposed to be inspired off of it. And I think it turned out really well to be my own mock, but still have the kind of basics of the fire mech. So, is, yeah? Yeah, I think we're done. So, yeah, so with that in mind, guys, that's it. There you have it. That is our uh, complete crossover. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like. That would be appreciated. And let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see more of these kind of like mock creations, but in our own kind of form. Because we are always master building stuff up our sleeves. So, um, always list your ideas in the Can comments. Always list your ideas in the comments section oh. below. Because we would love to... Um, because we would love to hear what you guys have in mind. And so, then we could build them. Yeah, and um, and definitely be on the lookout. Because sometime close to the wave to wave 9 of LEGO Dimensions, we should be releasing our next LEGO Mark Marathon. So, stay tuned. So, yeah. Oh, whoops. So, yeah. So, with that in mind, guys, peace out. And we will see you later.